The sea may be full of sustenance, but how much of it do we walk past on the shoreline? For years, seaweed has been included in the diet of Northern Ireland. And now Michelle Wilson is explaining to a new generation the benefits that it brings. So traditionally our ancestors would have foraged the beach for seaweed. Mostly they would have foraged for what we would call schlock. Um, if you go further around the coast it's called schlock. It's what the Japanese wrap their sushi in. So basically it's nori. Um, and they would have used it after the first frost as a cure for uh, remedies and colds. And it was a big mineral boost. Um, this little seaweed here is called dulles. Um, as you can see, dulles likes to piggyback on the back of other seaweeds. And it's actually piggybacking here on the back of a piece of kelp. As part of the experience, a meal is prepared. And the fish being cooked was bought at the foot of the morns in Kilkeel Harbour, where nature has supplied some of its own foragers. This is all part of a month-long initiative looking at sustainable produce with a strictly family feel. Michelle Sherlow of Food NI explains. We want people to connect with sustainable food experiences. So we want to give them an opportunity to forage or to make chocolate or to look for seaweed or to take part in things like a sustainable banquet, um, to find sustainable recipes on local menus in Northern Ireland. When it comes to a family day out, what could replace a day on the beach and up close with nature? The links between culture, environment and food have always been there. It's events such as this that are passing that knowledge on to a new generation. The coastline may be rugged and sometimes wild, but on days like this, they are always memorable. Doogie BD, GB News, Kilkeel.